everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys we really appreciate you yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country if you're looking for authentic news you're definitely in the right place because we've got you covered we've got an interesting one today from the people's democratic party the party i don't know what's happening to the pdp they look like the most united and the strongest um so far as uh, compared to the all progressive congress that crises have been rocking in different quarters in their different state chapters Right now, guys, the news we've got is that uh, PDP has um, sent a strong warning to one of their chieftain, the person of Ayodele Fayoshe, former governor of Ekiti State. We don't know what's going on with um, Fayoshe because um, he has been uh, um, behaving strange lately to party members. If we recall that um, before the Edo State governorship election, uh, Fayoshe, who is a PDP member, Knowing fully well that the um, incumbent governor, Governor Gordon Obaseki, had decamped to the People's Democratic Party, was not ready to give his support. And when he was being tackled, all he stated was that um, he was not supporting anyone. He's neither supporting Pastor Saige Ize Iyamu, nor is he supporting um, Governor Gordon Obaseki. That is quite strange because they are both um, party. We recall that um, when Obaseki decamped to the People's Democratic Party, he was welcomed. As a matter of fact, they say it up till date that um, they gave him an umbrella when APC threw him out. They gave him a, an umbrella to cover him. So they were very supportive. But Ayodele Fayoshe is being um, very controversial or always on the other side. Right now, we know um, he, even at that time, bef during the election, he had a go at um, the former um, national chairman of PDP, Chief Bode Judge. Spoke and um, was just saying some kind of words against him, and the party members did not take it lightly with him. He has started again. He made a shocking remark that the person of um, Bode Judge should be retired. If not, uh, um, the 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 PDP they are not going to win their by elections in the state if they don't retire Bode Judge. Quite surprising, but PDP did not take that lightly. Now they've sent him a warning, giving him a couple of days to retract that his statement. As a matter of fact, seven days they've given to Fayoshe to retract his statement against Bode Judge, or else he will face the full course of the law. You know, um, all these parties, different political parties with their constitution. And let's recall that um, the camping, moving from one party to another, is not a crime. So it's it's very simple. If he belongs to the People's Democratic Party and he doesn't like the, the way things are done, the leadership and uh, the way they, they run their things, then he should decamp or better still go and form his own party. Because he's just been like this uh, for the last couple of months, um, having uh, attacking his own party members. Anyway, guys, um, we'll get straight into the details of the news and um, we'll get the details shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. God bless you, my people. Yes, we'll get down into the news now and grab all of the details. Retract statement against Bode judge within seven days. PDP tells Fayoshe. The Lagos State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has called on Ayodele Fayoshe, former governor of Ekiti State, to retract his comment against the former deputy national chairman of PDP, Chief Bode George. Recall that Fayoshe had urged the party branch to politically retire Bode George during the inauguration of the PDP campaign committee for the Lagos East Senatorial by election in order to win the election in the state. Reacting to the statement, the spokesperson for PDP in Lagos, Taofik Ghani, expressed that Fayoshe will be held responsible for any future election loss in the state. He said in a statement titled, Keep your divisive advice, face your frustration on Sunday. Fayoshe will be declared persona non grata in all our indoor and outdoor activities from Monday 12th, October 2020, unless he, Fayoshe, purges himself of the grave nuisance value arising from the 
unsolicited, rabid, and decisive advice. Part of the statement read. Wow. Ayodele, he's, he's been warned, he's been told that um, if he doesn't retract that his statement, that he's going to be sent parking. He's going to be sent parking. Ayodele is someone in the party that we really don't know where he belongs. He's in the middle, neither here nor there, like he's been stated. At one point when he was speaking um, against uh, 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 members of um, his uh, um, own party, the leadership of the party, he was told that if you don't like the party, all you need to do is decamp. Move away from the party and go to where you, you feel like him. Um, you, you share the same opinion. Now, um, he gave his own reason why Bode Josh should be retired. The former deputy national chairman of the party he stated that if they actually want the Lagos uh, um, PDP to win the Lagos state um, by election, senatorial by election, that they have to retire Bode Josh or else. Well, right now, if we look at it, the PDP, they are not taking it lightly with him and they've stated that they are going to hold him lightly. It's going to be held responsible if um, uh, PDP ever loses any election in the state, if they lose any future election. So he has put himself in a kind of a situation that I don't understand. And why will he even make that sort of statement that Bode George should be retired? Bode George, we know, is a seasoned politician. And he's been around for some time, Deputy, uh, former deputy national chairman of the party, well respected as well. If he feels that uh, Mbode George needs to be retired, he should give reasons. If he feels that he needs to be retired from the party, he should give reasons. Mbode George is not uh, part of the leadership anymore. But we know very well that he's a chieftain of the party. But if he knows more that uh, uh, more danger or more, if, if he feels that Mbode George is causing the party more disadvantage, then he should spell it out clearly. They've given him seven days, guys, for him to actually retract his statement. We know Fire Shade will be very stubborn. I, I, I really doubt if he will um, retract his statement. But anyway, we'll see how this plays out. Because they've told him that within seven days, if he doesn't do the needful, he'll be kicked out. He's going to be shut out. He's going to be declared personal non grata in all of their indoors and outdoor activities. PDP, they are not joking. I mean, they have to be united. You cannot uh, be speaking against yourself. It's said that a, a, a house divided against itself cannot stand. My people, that's the news we're bringing you today. Do leave us your take, leave us your comment down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.